What is tessellation? A tessellation of a plane is a family of sets, called tiles, or cells, that cover the plane without gaps or overlaps. Tessellations are also called tilings. Pavings, outdoor floor or superficial surface covering. Parkings, flooring composed of wooden blocks arranged in a geometric pattern. Mosaics, piece of art made from small pieces of materials. The word tessellation is derived from English verb tessellate which comes from the Greek word tesseres meaning, for. In English dictionary, the word tessera is used for a small tablet of wood. Tilings refers to patterns of regular polygon. Tessellations differ from tilings in the sense that tessellations can be made of irregular shapes. The types of tessellations are as follows. Regular tessellation is a tessellation formed by only one type of regular polygon. Semi-regular tessellation are tessellations made from two or more regular polygons. While a regular tessellation can be formed from almost any kind of geometric shape. Shapes that form regular tessellations are square, rectangles, equilateral triangle, and regular hexagon. Shapes that will not tessellate are circles and ellipses. The art of creating tessellation has been known since the origin of the history of civilization. When people began to build their houses and fortifications, they tried to fill space or plain. The first houses, churches and castles were built by broken stones which made up random tessellations. In Gothic architecture, window panes, mosaics with colored glass pieces connected by lead strips, have occurred. Some examples of tessellation in architecture are Alhambra Palace in Spain and Ravensbourne University in London. Different sorts of parquetings, complicated covering of ceilings or rooms walls by tiles, or pavings of paths and places are samples of tessellations documenting human creativity. Tessellations in nature can also be observed. Here is a honeycomb with an array of hexagonal, six-sided, cells, made of wax produced by worker bees. Hexagons fit together to fill all available space, giving a strong structure with no gaps. Squares would also fill the space but would not give a rigid structure. Triangles would fill the space and be rigid, but it would be difficult to get honey out of their corners. Tessellations in weaving designs is also imminent. M. C. Escher, in full Maurits Cornelis Escher, born June 17, 1898, Leeuwarden, Netherlands, died March 27, 1972, Laren, is a Dutch graphic artist known for his detailed realistic prints that achieve bizarre optical and conceptual effects. His series Regular Division of the Plane, begun in 1936, is a collection of his tessellated drawings, many of which feature animals. To create a tessellation, map out a regular division of a plane, usually of triangles or hexagons, to get a basic skeleton for the shape. Deform the basic shapes into familiar figures like that of birds, a person's head, or any figure you can think of. Apply the respective rigid motions to them such that they are able to cover a plane. Here are more examples of tessellations. Here's a simple way on how to make tessellation, using a translation. Cut out a rectangle on a piece of paper. Draw a curve joining two consecutive edges. Cut along the curve you have drawn. Slide the cutout piece to the opposite side of the rectangle. Left to right, then top to bottom. Then, tape it in place and now, you have a template for your tessellation. You can now start tessellating. Here are some of the works done by some students, using the method of translation that was given earlier. Your activity is to make your own tessellation, using the method of translation. To appreciate and know more about tessellations, visit these links.